Uh, exploring more items that I've stashed away. These are uh, miniature trees for uh, HO train layout. Found this uh, quite a large lot of them. You can see by the size of the box here. And uh, I don't know, I, I wasn't sure. I did uh, a little bit of research on it, not too much. I just put them up for $50, thinking no way anybody's going to pay that. And they sold about the same day I put them up. And they're going to Canada. So these little uh, shrubberies and pine trees uh, are quite desirable. 50 bucks. Well, this is a tool for uh, uh, installing a uh, modular plug on a uh, telephone line. And uh, I came across this with a bunch of other uh, telephone equipment parts and stuff at a garage sale. And uh, it's been up for quite a while for, I think I had it at $15. And it sold uh, on a best offer of $10 for this Paladin branded modular plug tool. Uh, some more blank eight tracks. These are just uh, 45 minute ones and uh, singly packaged. And uh, I sold them as a pair, like the others, 90-minute uh, double packs, the same price, $20 for the pair. A couple more pencil sharpeners sold. Uh, this one is marked uh, Belmont School Supplies, but it's made by APSCO, as is this one marked Midget. Now, these both went to the same buyer, but uh, he bought them separately. He didn't combine them in his cart, so no combined shipping. I'll have to ship them separately to give them tracking numbers on each to keep me in good graces with eBay and uh, very nice they sold for $20 each going to Brooklyn New York this is a power switch out of a uh, pioneer amplifier receiver amplifier I did a little research and found out that it uh, fit uh, a few other models and included that in the listing and uh, it sold for $20 this is a uh, emblem from a 1975 Ford Pinto, and uh, this sold for $18. Lots of small parts over the weekend. This is a push button for a Grundig Majestic radio, vintage German radio. And uh, these often uh, break. They become brittle because they're just not stored properly. and. Uh, this actually went for $25. Another uh, take-up reel. This is a Maxell XL2. And like the Akai one I sold a few days ago, this one has a hairline crack in it as well. And uh, this may have uh, just been a full reel that uh, somebody emptied at one time. And this sold for $10. This is a pair of uh, X-Mods remote control car uh, upgrade kits. Sold to the same customer. This was listed uh, for uh, $20. This is the uh, suspension steering upgrade and uh, these wheel upgrade. Uh, this sold for $12. 32 bucks. Just some stuff I found in a, a box along with a bunch of other uh, remote control hobby items. Another pencil sharpener, this is the Apsco Giant. It's got some paint specs on it, but still a pretty nice hammer tone finish on the standard. And uh, this one is a little bit more modern six hole pencil sharpener. And this one sold for just $15. This is a vintage uh, early 60s desk, desk telephone made by Western Electric. And uh, I found this at a, uh, a swap meet for cars. I like to go to them, not so much for the cars, but uh, people will put odd things out there for sale. And uh, the crowd is not uh, you know, looking for that kind of item. So we often come across stuff. I got this for $4. It took a little bit of cleanup. And then I changed out the cord for a modern uh, modular plug. And uh, was able to test it out and it works just fine. I even made a video of it, show off the snappy return, and you could hear the dial tone coming through the uh, earpiece there. And uh, I was I was reluctant to sell it because I like the color, goes with my colors, 
but uh, everything's for sale. So I put a $90 price tag on it, which is probably about $20 higher than I saw one sold before. It didn't even take a week. Somebody bought it. Full price, 90 bucks. This is a uh, Boston self-feeding pencil sharpener or self-feeder, I guess they call it. It's kind of cool. It's got this device that pinches the pencil and then uh, it's spring-loaded. So when you uh, crank it, it uh, uh, pulls itself in to the cutters by itself. Kind of a cool little design, especially for the age of this. This one's got a lot of uh, wear to it. I originally priced it at uh, $35, but I got a Canadian buyer asking if he could uh, buy it for $25, and I agreed to that. Midge is giving this Sony subwoofer the final inspection before I pack it up. Uh, I've had this for uh, quite a while. I used it for a while, and then I replaced it with another one. It came with a uh, garage sale find surround sound system. And I just put it up for sale, actually, a, a few weeks ago. I made a video of it, uh, and uh, it sold to someone in Canada going through the global shipping program, and it sold for $65. It's another uh, back cover for a vintage television set. I acquired a bunch of these along with some uh, other TVs and TV stands for free. When somebody advertised on Facebook Marketplace, they were cleaning out an old TV repair and hardware shop. Uh, this one came with the cord special interlock cord for an RCA and uh, this sold for twenty dollars. Finally getting some bigger sales. This is a uh, uh, electrophonic 8-track uh, recorder and player. It's a real nice uh, deck as far as uh, its functions. Great for people that uh, like to restore old 8-tracks because it'll eject the tape at the end or at any of the tracks so you can get to that uh, foil splice. Uh, this one I had to put a new belt on and do the regular service work to it, but uh, it looks like it was made by the same company, parent company of Panasonic, Matsushita, which is high quality. And uh, after making a video of this and mm, two, three weeks after I listed it, it finally sold uh, Full price, $175. Now this is a heating element from a Regal Kitchen Pro uh, bread maker. And uh, this has been up probably since 2016. So sitting there for six years, it finally sold on Bonanza for uh, 20 bucks. These are three Magnetone 45 minute eight track tapes. I picked up a whole bunch of these off of Facebook Marketplace very cheaply. And uh, these are actually going to Belize. And uh, uh, the order total is huge, but uh, you only pay $10 each. So 30 bucks for these. Another uh, vintage magazine. This one is Movie Land from July 1952 features. Marilyn Monroe on the cover, and a uh, article about her on the inside. And uh, I did some research on this a few days ago before I listed it, and the last one to sell was for $50, and there weren't any for sale, and this one seems to be in a little bit better shape. And so I put a price of 65 on it, and it only took a couple of days to sell for full price. Uh, this is an RCA a uh, record player with uh, its own amplifier. Very nice one, it's all complete. And uh, it actually does uh, work somewhat, but uh, it needs a total restoration. And I've had this for a couple of years and just am not gonna get around to it. As a matter of fact, I have an, another similar one to it. But uh, I put this up for sale and a few days later, a uh, collector who restores these and then resells them uh, contacted me about it and uh, ended up buying it for $150.